Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss a problem on assignment model. Here the given question is solve the following problem of assigning four workers to four activities. The time required by each of them is given in minutes. To perform each of the activities are as follows. So here the matrix is given in the question which shows that there are four activities A, B, C and D and four workers are there 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now our task is we have to assign these activities to these workers so that the task is completed or assignment is completed in minimum time. And to do this assignment we are going to use a model which is known as Hungarian method or Hungarian model. For doing this assignment, we are going to use a Hungarian method technique. So as per Hungarian method technique, there are four steps for doing the assignment. Step number one is row reduction. Step number two is column reduction. Step number three is draw lines. And last step is make the assignment. Now for doing step number one, what the process is. So step number one is row reduction. For getting this particular matrix or table that is row reduction, we have to refer the matrix which is given in the question. So this is the given matrix which contains four rows that is row A, B, C and D. Now we have to start with row number A. Why we are doing so? Because we are doing the step that is row reduction. So in row A there are four, four elements. First is 14, 12, 15 and 15. Now how to do the row reduction? For doing row reduction, select row number A. The lowest element from row A is 12. So 12 is the lowest value in row number A. So subtract this 12 value which is lowest from all other elements of same row. So what we are going to do? We are going to subtract this 12 from all other elements of row A. So after doing row reduction, that is subtraction, the matrix which we are getting is 14 minus 12 is 2, 12 minus 12 is 0, 15 minus 12 is 3 and 15 minus 12 is 3. Now I am going to repeat the same process. Now we are going to repeat the process with the help of row B. In row B lowest element is 18 and this particular lowest element 18 is in two columns that is column 2 and column 3. Now as per the criteria or the rule we have to subtract this 18 from all other elements of row B. So row B after row reduction will be 21 minus 18 that is 3, 18 minus 18 that is 0, 18 minus 18 that is 0, 22 minus 18 that is 4. Similarly repeat the process for row C and row D. In row C, lowest element is 12. Subtract this 12 from all other elements of row C. So we will get the output as 14 minus 12 is 2, 17 minus 12 is 5, 12 minus 12 is 0, 14 minus 12 is 2. Similarly, repeat the process for row D. In row D, lowest element is 3. Subtract this lowest element from all other elements of row D. So we'll get the answer 6 minus 3 is 3, 5 minus 3 is 2, 3 minus 3 is 0, 6 minus 3 is 3. And this is the matrix that we have got after row reduction. For first step row reduction, we have referred the matrix which is given in the question. So after doing a row reduction process on this matrix, we have got this matrix that is step number one row reduction. Now for getting this matrix column reduction, we are going to refer the matrix which we have for formed after row reduction that is matrix number one. So we are going to refer this matrix of row reduction for doing column reduction. Now how to do the column reduction? For column reduction the same process. The process which we have followed row wise in row reduction the same process we are going to follow column wise in column reduction. It means that there are four columns in this particular first table or first matrix that is column number one, two, three and four. Now in column number one lowest element is Subtract this lowest element from all other elements of same column. So we'll get the matrix as 2 minus 2 is 0, 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 minus 2 is 0 and 3 minus 2 is 1. Similarly, repeat the process for column 2, 3 and 4. In column 2, lowest element is 0. 
so subtract this zero from all other elements of same column so zero minus zero will be zero zero minus zero will be zero five minus zero will be five and two minus zero will be two similarly repeat the process for column three and column four and this is the matrix which we will get after doing column reduction that is step number two column reduction now after column reduction third step is draw lines now how to draw the lines so for drawing lines we are going to use the column reduction matrix the matrix which we have got in this column reduction same matrix i have written for step number 3 now in this matrix i am going to draw the lines how to draw the lines the criteria for drawing lines is we have to draw a line column wise or row wise the only criteria is that column or row should contains maximum number of zeros now what exactly this criteria mean now before drawing the lines we will check for number of zeros in row as well as in column as for drawing lines i have used the same matrix which i have uh, uh, got after column reduction so instead of doing or counting number of zeros in draw lines i'll count number of zeros in column reduction and same zeros i am going to use for drawing the lines so first of all we will count for number of zeros uh, first row how many zeros are there two in second row contains either two zero similarly we will count for number of zeros in column in column one number of zeros are two column two number of zeros are two column three number of zeros are Three and column four number of zero is one. So as per our criteria, we have to draw a line either row wise or column wise. The only criteria is that line should cover maximum number of zeros. Now, as you can see in this matrix, maximum number of zeros are in row C, that is three zeros are there, and in column three, that is three zeros are there. So in order to cover three zeros, I will draw first line in row number. C why because this row contains three zeros so this is my line number one then my second line will be line number two that is for column three because this column also contains three zeros so this is my second line now in as you can see there are two zeros in row A and there is one zero in row B so in order to cover those zeros. this is my line number 3 in order to cover these two zeros and this is my line number 4 in order to cover one zero so number of lines that i have drawn to cover zeros are 1 2 3 and 4 as i have drawn four lines to cover all the zeros in this particular matrix and this matrix is 4 by 4 matrix it means that four rows and four columns are there and we have drawn four lines to cover all the zeros when the condition is satisfied that number of lines is equal to number of rows and columns that is number of lines are four which is equal to number of rows and columns that is also four hence the solution is optimum and finally we can go for making the assignment now how to do the assignment for doing assignment also i am using the same matrix this matrix i have written here as it is now for doing the assignment that is final assignment the criteria is make the assignment in such a way either row wise or column wise the only criteria is that row or column should contain only one zero it means what we have to select a row or we have to select a column which has only one zero now when we talk about row number a how many zeros are there two zeros are there so we are not going to select because it is not fulfilling our criteria now row number b how many zeros are there two zeros so we are not going to select that particular row row number c how many zeros are there one two and three so we are not going to select that particular row c now row number d how many zeros are there only one so as per the criteria i am selecting row number d because it contains only one zero that zero i am going to square mark that particular zero now this zero one single zero is row number d 1 and 2 again leave that row row number c number of zeros are 1 2 and 
so leave that row as it is not fulfilling our criteria row number d how many zero is are there only one zero so it is fulfilling our criteria so that zero i have squared mark why i have squared mark this particular zero because this zero is in row number d and row d contains only one zero which is fulfilling our criteria so i have squared mark this zero now this zero is in column number three so all other zeros in this particular column we have to cross mark so these two zeros i have cross mark now again repeat the same process again row number a how many zeros two zeros leave that row row number b previously there were two zeros but now there is one zero why because one zero we have cross mark so as there is one zero it is fulfilling our criteria so square mark this particular zero this zero is in column number two so rest all the zeros in column number two we have to cross mark similarly repeat the process go to row number c now in row number c there are two zeros leave that row again come to row number a there is only one zero so square mark this particular zero this zero is in column number one so cross mark all other zeros in column number one so i have cross mark this particular zero at the end only one zero is remaining that is in row number c so we have to square mark that particular zero now the zeros which are square mark is nothing but our assignment so what we have done we have assigned a activity to worker 1 this square mark is nothing but our assignment so we have assigned a activity to worker number 1 b activity to worker number 2 c activity to worker number 4 and d activity to worker number 3 so this square mark is our final assignment now how to find out the time because we want the time required to complete the activities for that i have drawn a table which contains first column is activity second column is worker and third column is time required as we have seen in this make the assignment step that activity a is assigned to worker 1 activity b is assigned to worker 2 activity c is assigned to worker 4 activity d is assigned to worker in order to find out the time required for completing this activities we have to refer the matrix which is given in the question now this is the matrix which is given in the question so for the element that is a activity and worker 1 so a activity and worker 1 value is 14 that value i have written here b activity worker 2 in this question activity b and worker 2 value is 18 same value i have written here c activities assigned to worker 4 so row c activity 4 value is 14 same value i have written here lastly d activities assigned to worker 3 so this is d activity assigned to worker 3 value is 3 same value i have written here and do a total of these time which are required to complete the activities and at the end we get the answer that is 49 minutes are required to complete the task given 